It was the craziest game I think I've ever seen. With only 10 seconds left, for all intents and purposes, in our minds, the game was over. We were watching the game, high-fiving, counting down. You didn't think that the Saints would give up an epic disaster of a play like they did. Stephon Diggs was wide open, and I think that's when it struck us both at the exact same time. He's going to catch this ball. And then uh, I blacked out. And I was on the Saints side um, hanging out with the players that basically fell to the ground. All of us were stunned. Reporters in the row in front of us in the press box were standing up, turning around, looking at us, stunned, speechless. When you see the ball go up in the air, all of a sudden, you see Stephon Diggs skying through the air and you're wondering, wait a minute, he's actually gonna catch this thing. And you look at Marcus Williams kind of drifting from behind and you're wondering, wait a minute, this isn't exactly what they drew up. And all of a sudden, Stefan Diggs catches the ball, turns around and runs toward us. Yeah, there's a two Saints fans right here and their reaction when he runs into the end zone, they were just kind of like that. And I think that's how we all felt. I thought I'd written this great story, but then I see Stefan Diggs score that touchdown and I had to immediately erase the first, you know, 100, 200 words of my story and, and start fresh. You know, you go through the stages of grief, there's denial, there's bargaining, there's ultimately recovery. And I think the thing about this one that was kind of interesting is how quickly New Orleans um, got to acceptance and, and moving on. The outpouring for Marcus Williams happened almost immediately. What I love about the city is that we showed our love for this young lad who was out there doing the best he could and he made a mistake. It's just a pretty awesome moment to see that billboard. For a New Orleans fan, seeing Marcus Williams rise, pick himself up off the ground, um, is kind of inspiring. You know, that's all me. You know, I just gotta be that guy and go, go up and get the ball, you know. You know, as a safety back there, you gotta be the eraser and that was my job. I, mean, I play the game, you gotta go do it. And you gotta, uh, you know, you gotta say to say the game. That's the story of New Orleans. Incredible heartbreak, incredible tragedy, incredible sadness, followed by incredible resilience. I think we all feel that this kid is gonna be something special.